Guys, Carlos J. Macias here, back to YouTube again. Now look, school is right around the corner, meaning school is coming. For some of you, you already went to school. For some of you, you're going to go way later than me. For me, I'm going tomorrow, Monday, January 13. Meaning that a lot of you are going to go to school. Because that wonderful, wonderful, awful time of year is here again. But some of you might want to... Some of you like your Nintendo Switch, right? Like your portable consoles. Your consoles. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to take your Nintendo Switch Lite back to school. Okay. One, so I'm going to teach you today how to take this to school if you have one. The Nintendo Switch Lite back to school. Stay tuned in because I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be making videos how to take the Nintendo Switch to school. The new to any DS to school to be to be exact, the Switch, any phone, any Chromebook, any tablet. Wait, this. How to take any Xbox, any PlayStation, any Wii. Maybe the Wii, maybe Wii, maybe GameCube. And maybe NES, maybe those ones, maybe. But the but the but the Switch, the any DS, any phone, Chromebook, and tablet, and any Xbox and PlayStation, those are um. The, I am making those. The Wii, NES, and GameCube, those are a maybe. Okay, one of the things you need for the Switch is. <clears throat> I'm gonna say for you guys not to do this, but I know you're gonna do it anyway. And that is, do not be playing the Switch Lite as you're walking around in campus, in school, or anywhere you're walking around. Do not. Because this can fall and scratch the, the screen. Yes, you can play this as you're, as you're, stand, as you're just standing, but as you're walking... Don't do it. But since I know a lot of you are going to do it anyway, you should buy this screen protector. So I can, pretend your, I can protect your screen very well. Now, if this screen protector is amazing and perfect, it can protect your screen with any scratches and any falls. It might leave bubbles, but really that doesn't bother you if you, once once the switch is on. I mean, this red screen protector doesn't have any bubbles, so really this doesn't really matter with the bubbles because it has no bubbles. This screen, this screen protector is the best of the best out there. If I were you, I would buy this screen protector immediately. Now another thing is that you need to carry it, right? This screen. This screen protector can fit in your, I mean the screen protector, this switch light can fit in your pocket. But I wouldn't really recommend it because you can damage these. So yeah, so instead you should get yourself this Nintendo Switch Lite carrying case. Which, if you saw my video Nintendo Switch carrying case and screen protector I mean, Nintendo Switch Lite carrying case and screen protector review. You will know that this carrying case comes with this screen protector. And this carrying case comes with other accessories. Wait, does it? No, it, oh, I actually remember this carrying case does not come with other accessories. It just comes with a screen protector and that's it. Oh, yeah. It just comes with a screen protector and this 
for the in case there's bubbles. But yeah, enough about that. Now, this carrying case is nice, soft, but when you put the switch in and close it, it's hard. I am risking my switch here for you guys, so you better be thankful that I'm making this video right now. I'm risking my switch light here from getting broken to prove that this case is awesome. So you better be thankful once you buy this case because of me. Here I go. Oh my god. I swear it's broken. <laughs> See? Perfectly normal. As well, this case could also carry. I have two game cards, by the way, just in case. So, it, so if you see one, you know the the other one is in the actual switch, not this one. But this can carry eight game cards, plus a few small accessories like the cleaning pouch and this thing for the screen protector. It can hold other Joy-Cons, some cables, the ear pods, or Bluetooth ear pods with cable or no cable. It can hold some a, some Joy-Cons, maybe a grip for the Joy-Cons, maybe I don't know. It can hold a tablet stand like the one like the one that I'm about to show you. It can it can hold small things. You just need to get Nintendo Switch sex. You just need to test Nintendo Switch accessories for yourself. Testing it if it, if it can carry it or not, and then after that you know. But but it is a good a good little pouch. And also this protects your screen when you put it in the case. See? Right now, fully protected screen, as you can see right there. Fully protected screen. Nothing wrong with the screen, just fully protected. See? Fully protected. Of course, I'm holding it because if I let it go, it'll be flying off. That's why I'm holding it, but fully protected screen. Hard case, meaning it falls like I just showed you. It will survive the fall, the switch light. And I, I think this case, instead of... Instead of... Throwing all the damp, all the force of the fall to the switch... I think it it absorbs it, meaning it the the switch doesn't get any damage. Perfect case to buy if you're on the go, and perfect perfect case to buy if you're going to school. It's also small, meaning you can just throw it in your in your what's it called in your backpack and just take it to school with you. Now, it does fit in some pockets. Like, wait, I'll be right back. Okay, if, never mind. But it, this case does fit in, in some pockets. The Switch fits in every pocket, but I, like I said, I wouldn't recommend it. But this case fits in some big pockets. See, so you have a jacket with a big pocket, throw it in there. But this could also fill in your backpack. In your backpack, any backpack or... Or a case, or if you're a girl, a if you're a woman or a girl, a purse, any backpack, ca any case you have, even a lunch bag. But besides that case, another thing you should really, really consider getting is wait. Let me take this off because I'm actually using it to film this. It's gonna be hard to film now, but I'll try. Is this tablet stand? This tablet stand works with any tablet, any phone, any Chromebook like the Chromebook you see in my previous videos that turns that you can flip into a tablet. Only those Chromebooks or Chromebooks that you can take the screen off in this tablet. Only those Chromebooks will, will work on this. Any other kind of tablet or phone and switch and switch light. Okay, besides that, 
Nothing else, okay? But yes, this perfectly works with the Switch. And if you and if you have a Switch and extra Joy-Cons, I mean, if you have a Switch Lite and extra Joy-Cons, you can definitely take this to play the Switch Lite where, wherever you go. Just make sure if you buy the tablet stand, make sure you have extra Joy-Cons like I do. I have extra Joy-Cons and a tablet stand. Okay, but this really does work if you have it. Because you have to admit, holding, you get tired by holding the switch light in your hands every all day. You just want to sit down and use it. So you can sit down anywhere you like and use it, or even in the lunch tables, in school, or in work if you go at work, lunch tables at work, and just play your Nintendo Switch light in there. All you will want. Perfect thing to buy. Wait. It also flips, it has three ways to flip. Oh my god, not this, this. You can flip this, you can flip this, and you can flip this. Like this. See? Perfect. Let me put the tablet back. There we go, back in there so I can, I can continue this. Now, that's good enough for the Switch. Like I said, you, sh you should also get extra Joy-Cons. By the way, and one more thing, that I, one more accessory that I do not personally have, but I am getting. Nintendo Switch Grips. And Nintendo Switch Lite Grip. There are 20 out there, but some that are... Two that I am buying is the Skull and Go grip and the Satisfy grip. You should definitely buy those two grips, both of them, not one, both of them, for the Switch Lite. I am gonna, I am gonna show, I am gonna show those two grips in this video, in this channel, in the future, and I am gonna mention other grips in the future. But for right now, those two grips. Anything else? Oh yeah, another thing you should buy is a car holder. Like I said, you wanna you buy a switch, you buy a car holder like the tablet stand. You need to buy extra Joy Cons. Like I have a car holder for the Switch Lite, a tablet stand, and extra Joy Cons. And if you and if you buy extra Joy Cons, you need to buy a Nintendo Switch grip. My 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 thing buy the Power A grip, the grip that comes with the Switch. But separately, don't don't buy the switch. If you if you want the switch, buy the switch and you get the grip. Or if you have a switch, just buy the just get the grip. Or if you don't want the switch, you just want a switch light. Buy a grip separately, so you can play with the Joy Cons on the Switch light. Like me, I have Switch and Switch light, so I just use the Joy Cons of the Switch and the grip of the Switch, and my other controllers of the Switch for the Switch light and the Switch. So yes. You should also buy the Pro Controller and Nintendo GameCube Controller. The Nintendo GameCube Controller for Super Smash on the Switch. You should buy all those controllers and the grip and charging grips for the Switch and Joy-Cons. I mean, if you're getting the Joy-Cons, yes, buy the grips and charging grips. But if you're not getting the Joy-Cons, just buy the Switch, the Switch Lite grip and the charging grips. But that, yes, I really recommend all those Joy-Cons, grips, and charging grips. And the Switch Lite grip. The two grips I said for the Switch Lite. And the charging grips for the Switch Lite. And the Game Controller, NES, SNES, and Pro Controller for the Switch. You should buy all of them. For the Switch Lite. Another thing that you should definitely get for your Switch Lite. It, there are two items. First, if I go on Amazon and and search Nintendo Switch, La wait, I'll, I'll be right back. Another thing you should buy. Is.
This, the Nintendo Switch Elite Player Backpack. This can hold the Switch, the Switch, Switch Lite, DS, any DS you have, any phone you have, any Chromebook you have, any tablet, any mobile charger you have, like I said, any DS you have, the Switch, and the Switch Lite. It can, it can hold accessories, stuff you need and don't need, want and don't want, for all those, and stuff you need but don't want, and stuff you want but don't need, and stuff you need and want, or stuff you don't want and don't need. All that, and more, for in this backpack. It can also hold. It can also. It can also hold ear headphones, ear pods, Bluetooth headphones, and Bluetooth ear pods. All that in here. I'm literally holding everything I have for the Switch, Switch Lite, my new 2DX XL. This for the, for my phone, like this one. For my Chromebook, like the one you saw before. All all that. That's really it. I don't care about my tablet. Wait. All that. It can hold all that. But, for back to school, I wouldn't recommend it. Why? If you saw my pre if you saw my, my previous video of Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch back to school. I, I said in this video. I said in that video. And I'll say it in this video again. I do not recommend taking this to school. To school. Because, once you leave your backpack in your class to go outside, like you're going to lunch and then you come back, people can steal this backpack and sell it on eBay. Only when you go outside, only when you go out of the house to go somewhere, take it with you there. Because in there, it's going to be with you the whole time. But in school, you are going to let go of it at some time. And that's when someone will steal it from you. So like I said, I would not, would not recommend taking this backpack to school unless you want to see all your stuff in somebody else's hands or, or you want to see all, all your stuff selling on eBay. Not a great idea. So instead, I recommend taking your Switch, your Nintendo Switch, in your regular school backpack. On this case. Another thing that I recommend for taking to school with you. For the Switch. Is. Obviously a charging cable. With a charger. And if you have a phone like this one. The charger for this phone. It's actually the same charger for the Switch Lite, the Switch, Pro Controller, GameCube, any controller, and any charging grip. It's the same exact charger from this phone. So if you have this phone, I recommend taking the charger and cable for the Switch Lite from this phone. Or buy a separate one like I did. But you should definitely take a charger. You should also... Also take a mobile charger like the one I have that you that you seen in my previous video or even the anchor mobile charger that's officially launch officially launched from Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch Lite. Another thing you should definitely buy is the way that charger. Uh, another thing you should definitely take for your Switch. Is the official charger release button that comes with your Switch Lite. Where is the other one? And then you should also take... Let me take this out. You should also take... A mobile charger. I mean a car charger. What am I saying? Mobile charger. God, why did this happen? And a mobile charger like mine, 
or the anchor one. That's which way better than this. I just have this for now. I ain't gonna buy the anchor one later. You should also take earphones like this. You should also take Bluetooth earphones like those ones I should show. Genki for Bluetooth. Ear pots. Nintendo. I mean, you should take ear pots and Bluetooth ear pots. With a microphone in case you want to play multiplayer. You should definitely take all that to school, all that with you. Not just to school, wherever you go, but especially to school. And you should also take... No, we know that. You should also take a memory card with you. Definitely a memory card. And also, you should also take... A memory card holder, just in case you have more than one. And that's really it. Now, I'm going to tell you, you might be saying, yes, yes, all this advice, all this stuff, all this stuff you're telling me to take, all that will help me. But how do I play the Switch in school without getting caught? Here it is. Either, like here on my desk screen, that will make my YouTube video, when you're in school, Turn it on and play it under your desk, as as under it you, as you can, but sitting up straight and don't even look down. Just put it in an angle where you can be looking straight and your eyes down, okay? But I would recommend doing that when your teachers when your teachers turn around. But that is too risky. Another thing is, go to the goddamn fucking bathroom. In there, you can play your switch light. As long as the teacher told you that you have in the bathroom. If, if your teacher, he or she, said five minutes in the bathroom, then spend five minutes playing that goddamn, your, your goddamn switch light. My advice, when you go, use your phone to see your time. Or the switch, because the switch says the time. Okay? My other advice is think, get out of class, hide, play the switch. Now stay tuned because I'm gonna make baking videos of how to take other stuff to school. A lot of other stuff. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you next time.